What's up, Fisher fam? Welcome back after one week off. It feels like a lot longer than one week off, but uh, hope everyone had a nice week four last week and a nice week five uh, this past week uh, in fantasy football. I know I sure did not. I lost both week four and week five matchups. Uh, so the undefeated number one power ranking naughty Nashville has has uh, fallen quite hard um, uh, yeah the, the the taller they are the harder they fall right um, so let's just recap week five this past week uh, of the matchups we had indie ballers beating me naughty Nashville 146 to 108. It wasn't really close. Um, indie Ballers had Josh Allen put up 67 points. Their third highest point player was their defense. So I think I had a chance if Josh Allen wasn't absolutely bonkers. Um, and I also had 30 points on my bench, uh, and I almost started him, but we were camping and I had no idea what was going to happen. Um, so blame it, blame it on the, uh, blame it on the outdoors. Sorry, mama nature. Okay. The next matchup of this past week five was sons of Ditka losing to the bears 140 to 147. This was a close matchup. Um, yeah, the Bears finally got really good production again from Justin Jefferson and Tom Brady. And Sons of Dick have put up a, a good point total, too. Definitely worthy to win uh, with Derek Carr finally putting up good points and, and Derek Henry putting up 30 and Nick Chubb. So two really, really good running backs and solid quarterback there. Good, good uh, unfortunate loss there, John. Next matchup is Illinois Outlaw losing to Gangsta CC, 136 to 163. And it looks like, oh, I was about to say Top Gun goes to Gangsta CC, but the Top Gun is yet to be mentioned. Um, so anyways, good win for Gangsta CC, 163. Uh, huge points from Kelsey. Go, Kelsey. Yeah. <laughs> Tyler Lockett and McCaffrey uh, putting up some points for you. Um, so tough loss again, Illinois Outlaw. I feel like you've been close several times and, and have lost. So hang in there. It's not over yet. Next matchup is Steph's husband with 91, losing to Evil the Dr. J, 149. Um, so this was a huge win for dr j uh big points for devonta adams and mike williams mike williams has been crazy for you this year so good uh good pick up there next matchup was decided by one point and both of these teams were absolutely trash um so uh it was uh really embarrassing for for both teams uh brad's house with 89 and the guru won uh, with 90 points if you look at the box score here both teams are putting up like single digits for for practically every single player except their quarterback so um yeah really poor performance uh you got lucky again andrew um so you better turn things around guru all right last matchup includes our top gun with all the quarterbacks in the league Uncle Lee's Rage to Rage with 175, beating Gateway City Super Hornets 113. Um, so congrats, Lee. Way to get another Top Gun. I feel like you've had a handful already this year. Um, but just really good uh, good play. I mean, a bunch of players that uh, have been um, putting up huge points for you. Cooper Cup is always there. Fournette has been amazing this year. Pat Mahomes is always going to be there. Um, Lazard with Aaron Rodgers is going to be great. And then Ramondre Stevenson for the Pats is going to have a huge role going forward with the injury to uh, fellow running back Damian Harris. So, um, yeah, really good team, everybody. We, we're we going to have to take uh, Uncle Lee down. Um, Naughty Nashville was... 
just hanging out at the top uh but now uncle lee's rage to rage is taking over um so good win lee all right now we're gonna do the week six power rankings and let me just give you a spoiler things have shaken up a little bit uh in the past two weeks so <laughs> kels why don't you start us off with the bottom well, we need to start by saying that's why we've not done the podcast. <laughs> Things have taken a turn, and that is, um, as you can guess, probably, that's why we didn't do the podcast last week, because we thought for sure uh, Naughty Nash would be number one. But since he wasn't, the Genesons were a little, as Olivia Rodrigo would say, sour. So, um, but we've... We've taken a different route and we're feeling better about ourselves and just happy to be here. So, power rankings for week six. <laughs> Starting at the bottom, Steph's husband. Yeah, just just uh, still at the bottom, Steph's husband. Um, uh, good luck. No. Ne yeah, next is uh, number 11 is Da Bears, who beat me last week. Crazy. Um, but. Uh, yeah, number 11 to Bears. Number 10? Sons of Ditka. John. Looking good, looking good. Number 9, Illinois Outlaw, Chi Chi. Um, number 8. Evansville, the Dr. J. Number 7, Gateway City Super Hornets. I think they Top Gun last week, I think. I'm not sure. Well, we should look that up because whoever had Top Gun last week deserves a shout out. Oh, yeah. All right. I'll look it up. Number six, Texas KC Brad's House. Number five, The Guru. That's a little bit of a drop for The Guru. Yeah. See ya. Number four, Gangsta CC. Nice. Number three. Ouch. Ouch. This is quite the fall. Also, Naughty Nashville coming in at number three. <laughs> number two. What? Indie Ballers? Ballers is balling right now. Whoa. That's for sure. And congrats to this week's Top Gun. You get the Drum top roll. of the power rankings. Drum roll, please. Yep. Uncle Lee's Rage to Rage. Way to go, Uncle Lee. All right, we were talking smack about all your quarterbacks, but hey, you're at the top of the uh, power rankings, and power rankings don't lie. <laughs> um, Do they ever lie? Yeah, they always lie. <laughs> they only lie. Okay, to confirm, week four, the week that we missed our episode here, um, the Top Gun was Gateway City Super Hornets with a massive 183. Um, so congrats to Gateway City Super Hornets. That was a fantastic win. So Top Gun uh, for Gateway City Super Hornets and the team of the week for week four was their opponents, Evil the Dr. J. Uh, just everybody took a off week for you, Dr. J, with 80 points. Um, so sorry there. Uh, tough loss. The week five team of the week goes to three different teams the guru by winning by one point with just double digit point total brad's house who was the lowest point total with 89 and then also i'm going to throw in steph's husband who had 91 so all those three teams had 89 90 and 91 points uh very very poor i would be so sad <laughs> not really <laughs> so me <laughs> so sad okay you ready okay Kelsey's quote of the week. Kelsey's quote of the week, 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 week. Football is easy if you're crazy as hell. Or football is easy if you're crazy as H-E double hockey sticks. In case we have young ears listening, shout out to Benjamin and Isaac. This quote is brought to you today by Bo Jackson. Woo, Bo I Jackson. I see. I was hoping he wasn't a soccer player. Uh, I don't think, nope, he's not, but, uh, we did not grow up watching him. Uh, he's, he's one of those old farts that, uh, that our parents grew up watching. Oh. So, so, oldie. Um, I also want to say while I'm pulling up these matchups that my trades that I was bragging about the last couple weeks, um, have failed horribly. Um, my tight end that I went in purchased uh darren waller injured and he has a bye week this week 
And then Keenan Allen, who I went and gave up uh, Jeff Wilson for, who's a very good running back. Out. He hasn't even played a single minute. He's been injured the entire time. So those two trades have practically just been a loss for my magnificent squad. So if I just wouldn't have tinkered, I, I maybe uh, would still be at the top. So that just goes to show you, don't mess with a good thing. All right. NFL Week 6 matchups. We have Gateway City Super Hornets at 2-3 and three, going against Naughty Nashville, 3-2. and two. Um, So that will be a good battle there, projected for 124 to 138. Next is Steph's husband at 2-3 and three versus Sons of Ditka, 1-4. And, and it looks like they may have a bunch of teams on by because their projected totals are 88 and 83. So you might need to go pick up some players, uh, Jesus and John. Next matchup is Brad's house. Uh... Two and three versus Illinois Outlaw. One, three, and one. Uh, and they're coming in at a projected total of 121 to 116. Next matchup is this week's Top Gun and Top of the Power rankings. Uncle Lee's Rage to Rage at four and one versus Indie Ballers. Three, one, and one. Um, so they're both projected for 134 and 125, respectively. Next matchup is the Guru at three and two versus Gangsta CC three and two, and they are projected for 120 to 126. So that should be a close one. And then the last matchup is Evil the Doctor J at two and three and versus the Bears three and two, and they're both projected for 124. Um, so that should be a good matchup there. A lot of teams in the mix at two and three and three and two, um, you know, and then, uh, Lee's team is the only at four wins at this time. Okay. So those are the matchups for week six. We are, there's only 14 weeks. So we are nearing the halfway point. How about that math for you? Um, but, uh, so, you know, kind of under halfway there, um, playoffs are going to start shaping up pretty soon. Teams are going to start pulling away. Um, you know, those power rankings are going to start singing pretty, pretty true here soon. Um, okay. I hope everybody has a great week and, um, and, uh, sorry for the hiatus, uh, last week. Um, but, uh, love you all and, uh, we'll talk to you soon.